Hey guys, Dharma and Jarrell here, back with another episode of Dark. We're mm-hmm. on to episode two of season three. Um, the premiere. Mind yeah. blown. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, we're back in Wyndham, but we're not. It's an alternate world, stroke time, stroke reverse world. I don't know what you call it yet. I don't know whether we're supposed to know that, but things do appear to be kind of reversed but it is a world without Jonas and he in effect is now observing what the timeline would look like without him being born because here Mikkel never went back Nope. so he doesn't exist um, we have this new random stranger who new you, player in the game yeah who you believe is the same person as a young child, a middle-aged man, and an old man. Yeah, I, I stand by that conviction. So she's standing by that for now. Um, Ulrich is still up to his old tricks, except with someone else. He's with Hannah. Now he's giving it a shot. <laughs> and the future Martha, because we we're in agreement that the Martha of this world is is the same one as the one that used the device to come and get Jonas. At she just doesn't know it yet. She hasn't yeah. got to that time in her life where she Correct. makes that connection. Because she, right now, she doesn't know who he is. Yeah. Mm. She is here trying to help Jonas find the origin point. So he is not the origin point at all. No. I don't think Martha is the origin point either. I think maybe it's a point either, as you were saying yesterday, either further back or maybe or further, further forward. forward that causes these two families to yeah. meet and collide and these these two atoms, let's take Jonas and Martha as atoms, I think them being together is the issue here. So I think there's a point where they've got to make sure that these two families never meet. And I think this origin point, because we're humans and we think in a linear way, you think, oh, well, if you need to find it, you need to go back. It, it's, already, it's already happened, so it has to be in the past. With this, there's no reason to presume that it would be in the past. Yeah. It could be at any point in time that has created the loop. Yeah. So, right, we're just going to get on because we're excited to find out what happens next. This is episode two. Are you getting memories? I don't know. Oh. Mmm. Marta? Das kann nicht sein. Du... Du lebst. Das ist nicht Martha. Ja. Yeah. Ich brauche mehr, weiß nicht. Ja. Yeah. Ich habe versprochen, das alles wieder gut zu machen. Was da bevor? Dass das alles nicht passiert. Dass ihr nicht sterbt in meiner Welt und ich nicht sterbe in eurer. Dass ihr alle zurückkommt. Dass das alles endlich ein Ende hat. Ich versuche sie seit drei Monaten zu erreichen. Wenn Sie die offenen Rechnungen nicht begleichen, müssen wir den Anschluss zum nächsten Monat kappen. Bitte melden Sie sich und gehen zurück. Wieder. She needs to stop breaking into people's houses. <lacht> ah! Wow! No way! Wow. Wir evakuieren das gesamte Gebiet. Wir haben angeordnet, die Sperrzone zu versiegeln. Yeah, you would have. To contain it. Zu versiegeln? Think Chernobyl. Yeah. Einzumauern. Mm. Du kommst aus einer Parallelwelt, in der Mikkel nicht verschwindet. Ich stumm bin. Und Jonas nicht existiert, in der wir alle bereits tot sind, weil deine Welt genauso untergeht wie unsere. Pretty much. Das ist doch Bullshit. Woher wusstest du, wo wir sind? I want to know that too. Jonas hat es mir gesagt. Ich dachte, es gibt keinen Jonas in deiner Welt. Er ist gereist. 
von eurer Welt in meine. Du lügst. Ich war nie in deiner Welt. No, not this variation of you. Hat Adam dich geschickt? Womit bist du gereist? Ich will wissen, womit du gereist bist! Die Leute erzählen zwar, ich sei nicht ganz klar im Kopf, aber ich versichere ihnen, dass ich mehr sehe als die Sehenden unter uns. Bei der Idee. Na? Vielleicht hätte Urin jetzt doch geholt. Was für ein Irrer? Fass mich an, du Pestbeule. Ha! Ist je! Ist je! Do you not? <lacht> ja, sag mal. Aus der Klapse ist diesen Sommer ein ausgebrochen. Hat versucht, Michael mit in die Höhle zu schleppen. Stand in der Zeitung. Da war die Ulrich. Du lässt deine Finger von Mikkel. Und von Ulrich. So they all just kind of dropped with the energy. Hm. Somewhere else in time, yeah. Im Sommer hat jemand versucht, meinen Sohn zu entführen. Ihren Sohn. Weder können Sie sich ausweisen, noch einen Nachweis erbringen, dass Sie tatsächlich die Mutter des Jungen sind. Sie sind nirgendwo gemeldet. Seit drei Monaten hat ihn niemand gesehen. Er geht nicht in die Schule. Er ist nicht zu Hause. Jetzt hören Sie mir mal genau zu. Der Junge ist nicht verschwunden. Das Jugendamt kennt den Aufenthaltsort von Ines und Michael Kahn bald. Nach dem, was im Sommer passiert ist, hielt man es für das Beste, dem Jungen eine Auszeit zu geben. Ah. Und die Irre ist zurück in der Geschlossenen. Genauso wie die letzten 34 Jahre. Seltsam hier. Sieht aus wie Gretchen. Hm. Glauben Sie, dass das Verschwinden von Mats und meiner Mutter, dass das was miteinander zu tun hat? Mein Name ist Claudia Tiedemann. Ich bin eine der wenigen Überlebenden der Apokalypse vom 27. Juni 2020. Es sind jetzt fast drei Monate nach der Katastrophe. Aber das Gottespartikel, wenn wir es stabilisieren können, vielleicht ist es ein Weg zurück. Zurück in die Vergangenheit. And the body won't be there now, because they've come and cleared out all the bodies. Noah. We know where this ends up. Mm -hmm. Was willst du hier? Folgst du uns? Ich hab dir gesagt, wir wollen nichts mit dir zu tun haben. Du willst sie beschützen. Ich weiß. Das will ich auch. He knows, because older Noah told ich. him. Hinaus was kommen, indem du getötet wurdest. Wir sind gereist. Genau in dem Moment, als alles hochgegangen ist. Ich wollte nicht hierhin. Es ist einfach so passiert. No, he gets the thing that says to go save them. Der Apparat ist leer. Oh. Nicht so einfach in 1888 an einen nuklearen Brennstoff aus der Zukunft zu kommen. Ja. Ja. Der Stock hier. Jedes Unheil kann umgekehrt werden. Jeder Schmerz vernichtet, bevor er überhaupt entsteht. Eine perfekte Welt. Sigmundus Creatus Es. Ich möchte jemanden besuchen. Er ist seit 34 Jahren hier. Der Kommissar? Sind Sie mit ihm verwandt? Das ist mein Mann. Sie sind eine von denen. Eine von den Frauen, die sich in Irren oder Inhaftierten suchen, weil sie draußen keinen besseren abbekommen. Meine Mutter hatte auch so einen. Ich bin einen sehr weiten Weg gereist. Lassen Sie mich zu ihm. Ja. Katharina. Ja. Yeah. 
give him the attention to look at her nails. Oh. No, you won't. Mama. Nope. Yeah, I get it. But why? Oh, 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 oh. Damn. You want to protect her? Tell her the truth. Before it's too late. Das hier ist eine Art Geheimloge. Der alte Thanos ist der einzige, der von ihm übrig geblieben ist. Sein Vater war davon überzeugt, die Gesetze von Raum und Zeit außer Kraft setzen zu können. Er hat sein ganzes Leben in das hier investiert. Und sein Sohn nach ihm. Jonas versucht, die Dinge wieder so zu bauen, wie er sie gesehen hat. Er war schon mal hier. Nicht jetzt. In der Zukunft. Hätte ich vorhin etwas gefragt, ob Adam dich geschickt hat. Wer ist dieser Adam? Er hat es euch nicht gesagt. That he's Adam? No. Er ist Adam. Jonas. Die Entscheidungen, die wir in dieser Welt treffen, sind andere. Und trotzdem Laufen Sie auf den gleichen Moment zu. Die Dinge passieren. To get you two. Auf die gleiche Weise. Oder zur gleichen Zeit. Aber sie passieren. Die Apokalypse geschieht in meiner Welt genauso wie in deiner. In meiner allerdings bereits in drei Tagen. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so that was episode two, and I spent part of that confused uh, because you were trying to lead me that it, we were on their world with Katarina. I thought, we yeah, the reason that I entertain that as an idea is because when the, she jumps Wass's face and they appear in the tunnel, Katarina was going through the tunnel at the same time as the apocalypse, and yes. I thought she'd been snatched up in the bubble right. at the same time. And then I realized once I was seeing the missing posters um uh, I, th I was like all right she's made it was those. still their world but it was still their world yeah. it just moved on to 1987 i didn't get that the time had progressed three yeah, months so that's, that's where i was confused that's where i was <laughs> that's where i was and then she led me down the garden path um, like me <laughs> the reason they're not recognizing mick or anything is because he's been gone for me for a long while now so nobody knows him no no but i think uh this hannah with this little, the little Martha. gold device that she used. Uh, Marta, sorry. <laughs> the little gold device that she used, I think that's the only one that's capable of traveling through space, time, and dimension. Everything we've seen so far in the first two seasons with the with the big machine and the portable one yeah. is that it can travel forward or back, but it can't travel across to another universe, it can't travel to another world or another dimension. I think the one that she has is capable of all three, like Minkowski's theory of space, time and dimensions that they're at right angles to each other. Yeah. So yeah. that's what that's where I'm going with that. Um yeah, I know that's but <laughs> but that still again was a fabulous episode. I am still in awe with this series as to how much attention to detail that they put in this. Yes. Even down to the actors when it's showing Af any scenes after the apocalypse and how dirty they are and their fingernails and everything. It doesn't look like they've just gone, okay, we're getting ready to go on set. Let's, let's just rub a bit dirt on you. That'll do. They've, mm. they've done it so well. And I saw somebody post in the comments a couple of days ago saying, this 
show is a masterpiece in its own right, but it's also the only show, I think it's the first one that's ever done it in this way and taken the time and the effort to recruit out people for the show who look like their older and younger doppelgangers and versions of themselves. Not too much so that you will spot it immediately, but enough for you to see a resemblance. Even though, obviously, they're completely different people. They're not related in any way. No. Because every other show just either uses makeup or prosthetics. Yeah, they do. To age someone or make sure or they use airbrushing to make someone look younger. I think this is the only show, I think, that's ever gone to this amount of extreme to get things absolutely spot on. And it's it's mind-blowing. Just like the, the old guy who plays Owen looks like him. It looks like it's his dad. Yeah. It is really, really good at so well. So the the final scenes that we were watching there then, when uh, Bartosz takes not Marta uh, into the the lodge as he wants to call it. Mm. So the tan house guy, yeah. he is carrying on from his father's work. So if you were to take the linear approach to find the origin, would be to stop his father starting with this time machine nonsense in the first place if you're going down the linear route. And he had a secret society. Now that, I'm intrigued by this because it is historically accurate. This was the time when the the Freemasons and all that sort of stuff started to come into their own. These secret societies of very wealthy people with very lofty ideals. there's plenty of them. But this time frame, people were like, tell me more. So I like that they've gone back to a point where you could start all of this because it always seemed a bit ludicrous to me that back in the 20s, you know, Adam's got his little cult around him already. And I'm like, why would you find people with the Great Depression and everything that would be buying whatever snake oil you're trying to sell? Because but if you go to the 1800s, it was already that there. makes sense. That Yeah, because it was already there. So I like that they've tied that into it because that was always a bit of a stretch. It's always already established. Um like we say that thing underneath is ancient anyway isn't i feel it? like that's been imported to where it needs to be what i like is what you have just hit on towards the end of that episode there is you as adam she's on about the old Marta here again she sounds like adam yes she's on about creating and having them two creating a new world and a new paradise adam and Eve yeah I think you could be right I so think that's why he's two, chosen that name without yes, realising it I think or has been told to choose or has been given that name I think you two are the ones that meant to start a new world even though you're related which at this point doesn't actually matter yeah but if you go back to the origin story Eve was created of Adam exactly um, you know that that's only our own today societal norms that deem that inappropriate for whatever reason usually genetics usually genetics <laughs> and biology and stuff but maybe it's those two they are meant to be together and both of their lives are completely inextricably linked yeah. to these worlds the and either one of them not being here is what creates all of this mess I like how they've done showing us after the apocalypse now yeah in Wyndon and yeah. even just that little clip of the radio broadcasters of, of them telling us what's going on the rest it of the world it wasn't just Wyndon it has happened around the world scientists are like I have no clue what happened we're trying to figure it out as to why some little town uh, in Germany has, has made the whole world explode virtually well, disappeared it was the epicenter so obviously it's felt the repercussions around the rest of the world the As fact that you're wave. still sitting yeah. there and having broadcast means that it's not the end of the world as we know it and we already see that in the timeline with um, Charlotte and her dad they're there they're ready to put the wall up that contains Wyndon so Correct. the epicenter has had an effect on the world and wiped Wyndon out as we know it mm. but it's not an ELE event no, it's, it's not, not an, an extinction no. level event. No. no, but it's done enough to irreparably damage this world and Wyndon's the focal point. Yeah, so, yeah, it's yeah. the epicenter of it all. So I, I liked that we get to see what happens afterwards. It's not just rebooted back to the next one. Yeah. And now we're in, the, the cycle started again, but we're seeing past the pivotal 33 years. Yeah. So it's always been 86, we're now in 87. So we see life after. I'm trying to work out how 
uh, Jonas ended up in 1888, why he came here in the first place, what he's trying to do now, and how this uh, this old man who's tied in with it. Obviously, he said himself, he's like, you were a godsend. I came across you just at yeah. the right time. I'm the last sole remaining person of this secret society who was trying to invent this stuff and you know all about it yeah so how did he i don't know him? i'm, I'm ho- hoping presuming we'll get something on that um but he is not happy that marta is here he thinks she is trying to undo his work i think but he has no idea as to how she got here he's not seen that device that she has no she and i think she's very to smart to keep that hidden i think from she's him. smart to keep that hidden from him because he has no clue that you can actually travel to an alternate world as well um obviously he knows it now because of her that it exists but that's why he was so angry they were going how did you get here what did you use yeah how did you find me? And who's built that thing? Exactly. And who so still... So many questions. Who is this stranger, this this aged Don't stranger know. that's Don't living know. in three ages at once? Don't know. There's so many questions. If we literally went through every little piece of that, we'd be here an hour trying to break it down. I think we'll just leave it there and we'll see what happens in the next episode. But this, this show's fabulous anyway, so I can't wait to see the next one. No, no, I can't. No. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. No spoilers. Uh, If you want to do that, head over to the Discord and use the spoiler tag. And don't forget, this is also available over on Patreon, full length. And we are currently doing two episodes a week on Patreon, one on YouTube. So if you want to keep your dark fix and get them as early and quickly as possible, head over to Patreon. Link will be in the description. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, turn the notifications on. That way you'll know when the next episode will release, including all my other shows. Right, guys, we'll see you for episode three very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.